What's in the box? Let's go check it out. Tell them who you are if you're living in the movement. You wanna praise God. This is how we do it. It's a new camera I just got in. It's pretty nice. I've got it on black and white for cold. You see the cold right there? The blue is for cold. And it shows up any water or really cool spots. And just so you know, it's kind of hard to hold this dude at the same time. So uh, the blue is water. Okay. So water drops. This, that one's not running. This one is. This is our main main water pump for the building. Uh, it circulates all the water from the building. Step back from it a little bit to get a better idea for what's cold and what's hot. It's running about 115 degrees on that pump motor. That's pretty cool, man. Down here in the boiler room, it's a little easier to see. The water on the floor. Let's try to analyze it. Very good. It's all wet. All of this down here is wet. I know there's water there, so it's not a big deal. But it's pretty cool, man. I like this one. So let's switch it back. Uh, white hot. White is hot. And dark is uh, cold. So you can see how that thermal motor or the motor's working. Water splice on that motor. I've been over there, it's not working. Rainbow. Back to the blue. The blue is indicating cool, and the white indicating hot so you go back over here to the motor it's running about 144 degrees this is all chilled water line so, yeah it, it works pretty good man i like it a lot Especially when you're looking for um, a water leaks, we'll have to find some carpet, some wet carpet. That right there is the condensation line. You can see it's blue, cold, but I gotta clean that line out, it's backed up. This is a super cool product. It's Thermal Master sent this out to me. This is super cool. Comes with basic instructions. Comes with a model number two. You can put it on serial number so you don't warranty wise, you know. It's a simple instructions. Nothing 
complicated about that. But anyway, so the thermal camera is pretty cool. There's model number. Um, it's really big screen. You can see it's almost the size of my hand. It also comes with a guard. The front you have a you can close the window off to protect the lens. You can also put this on there, and it it just pops on it real easy. And this protects the lens too. So take that off, open it up. Nice case, by the way. So then the setting, you turn it on. I, I'll just go through it real quick so you just get the general gist of it. It's got a light on the front. You can, uh, let me see where the light is. The light's right here, light button. You can also use the laser. You see there's a laser on it. It's also got light. You see the light on it. So you can point it. So you have a pointer so you know, you know what you're looking at. Turn that off real quick. There you go, just hold it down for a second, it goes off. Now the settings, right here across the bottom of the screen, you can go, you can set your temperatures, you know, max and minimum. Right now it's at 96, it, I haven't set anything there. It's a video mode, or a view mode, I'm sorry. And then this is, the third window is, click on that and you can change the how, how the screen appears. So right now it's on, uh, white is hot the next one is black is hot and then it goes rainbow a whole bunch of different ones different ways to view um, what you're looking at for me I kind of like the white hot and the black hot different colors it's just basically different ways of looking at stuff you can barely make me out the green is my arms see the greens that's my arms reflecting off of this metal that's pretty cool aka my reflection now you can see me a little bit better that's my arms the cameras in the middle that's a reflection so that I think that's pretty cool it's pretty sensitive like when my dogs walk across the carpet I can pick up their dog their footprints pretty cool Warm is blue. I see you, uh, warm is red. So yeah, it's it's got some pr pretty cool settings. So you also go back um, the camera. Let's go to camera. Let's go to pictures. Looks like that. Different ways of viewing a live. That IR. That's pretty cool. Right, reset. Click the center button. Uh, settings is like language and stuff. Measurements. You can set the measurement. You see it over here in the corner, turn uh, colors. You can set uh, your minimum. Minimum and maximum settings. And center point. So I can take the center point out or I can put it back on. I like having the center point on. See, hit the revert button to go back. Now we're back on the screen. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool, man. It's a really good, uh, really super nice um, thermal camera. I've used it at the at the shop, like you saw the video. I used it at the shop uh, to show water. Um, I've looked at a couple of different things. I, I couldn't record them though because they were in occupied apartments, but. Uh, you could also use this on something like, um, say you're working on a car um, and, and it's got a misfire. You could look at your header to see if all the spark plugs are firing properly. It's just all kinds of different uses you could use this camera or this uh, Thermal Master for. Especially looking at um, insulation in your attic, your walls. Let's give that a shot real quick, see what it looks like. So far, my favorite one is the warm blue uh morning blue um it shows cold and blue and that's my favorite one because i'm always looking for water you know what i mean so we go to the next one that's white hot and then you can switch it over to black is hot you know what i mean switch it back and forth 
You can see it a little bit better. So in this one, the cold vent is white. So you can see the airflow. See how the uh, air blowing on the wall has cooled it down. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty sensitive. It picks up just the cold. That's the window right there. So you can see where the air has been blowing out of the vent. And you can see where it's distributing the cold air to. That's pretty cool. You can do it just about with everything. But it's a really sensitive camera. Cool thing about it is you can pick your color. You know what I'm saying? I like the blue. But I'm really impressed with this right there. You can see how that wall has gotten cold. That's just from the air conditioner blowing the cold air over. So that's definitely helpful when you're working with HVAC. You can see where it's blowing out. That's just a pan. Yeah, that is pretty cool, my friend. I like that a lot. So if you're in the market for a really nice thermal camera, man, that this is definitely, definitely worth checking out. Um, you got to watch their case, though. I don't know why that's fuzzy. But when you put the camera in there, it'll leave uh, fuzzy on the edge. But I mean, it was just, I was just pointing that out. But yeah, the case is super nice, super nice. Links in the bio. You're living in the movement, you wanna praise God This is how we do it